flowers for the first time Running on the red lights The middle finger was a peace sign we're sipping on the motion, smoking and inhaling every moment. What's going on, everybody? This is Zach with Strictly Shisha. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. It is a beautiful day, and I love smoking. For those of you who went to the Hookah Expo worldwide, I am super jealous. The pictures looked amazing. I heard there was over 600 people, a lot of vendors, and so many new products. I saw the Shika V4.5s online, new Regal Hookahs, Trifecta released some new flavors, officially released the Lime, the Raspberry, and Indian Kier. I've not tried the Kier yet, so I want to try that. There was a new Alchemist Hookah. There was all sorts of stuff, including this hose from Mason Shisha Wear. So some of you guys got to see that at the expo. I'm very glad you guys got to see this in real life. This is a beautiful product. I actually got to see prototypes of the timber hose back at TPE in January. And man, has this hose come a long way since the prototypes. He's made a lot of changes, improvements, and it's great to see his thought process behind these changes. He put a lot of thought into making this hose. But what inspired him to make this hose? So Nino, the owner of Mason Shisha Wear, wanted to create a hose and fill the gap in the industry of a hose that was of equal caliber in terms of quality and aesthetics to the really nice hookahs he was pairing it with. He smokes out of a Wuka, B2, all these great hookahs, and he didn't like that the hoses on the market right now are not that nice looking. I mean, to be honest, they're, they're not. And there's not that much variety. So he really wanted to fill the gap in the industry and create a luxury product to match these luxury hookahs. I mean, look at this combination. This is a high-end setup. Now, there's nothing wrong with the other hoses on the market. I mean, simple hoses like the Thunder Hose, the D Hose, etc. But he's like, man, you're smoking a three or $400 hookah and you have a simple $20 pipe. It just doesn't do it justice. So he really wanted to elevate the hose game. And you guys know me. I'm a simple guy. I just like products that work. I just enjoy smoking. But I definitely noticed the difference between a high quality hose and a very simple hose. Back in the day, we both, Nino and I, were Thunder Buddies, ripping our Thunder hoses. They were great at the time, but we both hated how they kinked and they ripped. And it took me a long time to come around to buying an aviator hose, but once I did, I was like, man, this is definitely a step up, and I noticed the quality once I had something of higher quality to compare to. So Nino also got an aviator hose. He loved it. He was like, this is a great hose. I love the upgrade of the soft touch silicone. I love the lightweight handle. This is a high quality hose, but, he thought he could still make it a little bit better and change the aesthetics even more. Step up the handle game to match hookahs like the Wuka, etc. So I think that's where the inspiration came from to create the Timber Hose. And man, this is definitely a different product. You guys can see here at the top, we have a wood tip, we have the copper center tube, we have a matching wood handle to the Onyx Bowl. I love the theme going on here. Definitely, definitely unique. It's got a brass tip on it. The length of the handle is about five inches. It's shorter than other handles on the market, so keep that in mind if you guys like longer handles. Personally, I don't care, I can lift it up. Doesn't make a difference to me. By the way, the handle is super light. It's about 121 grams, which is right between the weight of an aviator hose handle and a D hose handle. And the way it's weighted, the weight distribution, it feels very light in hand. Not that the D hose weight ever bothered me, but feeling something lighter in hand makes it a lot easier to smoke. Now in terms of the handle, one of my biggest points of concern was the wood tip on here. I was afraid over time with putting it in your mouth and the buildup of saliva and moisture, it would break down. But Nino assures me this is a sealed wood and it should hold up over time, no problem. For example, the Wuka bases are made of wood and you actually fill them with water and there's very little complaints about those. So he says this should hold up over time. Also, to set your mind at ease even further, there is a food grade nylon insert on the inside of the handle which makes the timber hose fully washable. In addition, another feature he says, this copper portion here is actually supposed to cool down the smoke and remove some impurities like copper down stems do. Now I haven't really noticed this, I haven't noticed any colder smoke per se or any different tasting smoke, but this is another feature here. Copper is an expensive material, so I like that he chose to put the copper in here. It also aesthetically looks really nice. But a handle for me is a handle. I'm not really that picky. But what really sets this hose apart for me is the silicone tubing. This soft touch silicone tubing is amazing. I think I just used my aviator hose because of the tubing. 
For me, the draw is a little too restricted. I don't like it that much, but the quality on that tubing is great. Now this quality on this tubing is even better. He's made the gauge of the tubing a little bit larger, so the draw is nice and wide open. It's a tad bit more open than the Aviator. It's a tad bit smaller than the D-Hose. For me, the perfect draw. I'll show you guys a hit right now. When paired with a wide open hookah like the B2, it's a perfect draw. It's not overly open where you lose flavor. It's not overly restricted where you're just choking to smoke. This is a very nice draw from this. So I like the gauge that he chose. In addition, it's very, very malleable. I think they should get rid of the D-hose silicone hoses. They're just so rigid, I hate them. I just buy them because they're cost effective. I personally think soft touch silicone should be the new standard in the industry. I think all hoses should be made out of that. It just makes sense. It's so silky and smooth, it feels good. It doesn't get caught on your arm or the couch. I'm not worried about pulling over my hookah. I do have a little cat named Tails and he does shed. So the D-Hose, I'm smoking it, put it so close to my mouth and there's a big wad of cat hair on there. It's gross. This does not attract the hair. It just feels good. And in comparison to the Aviator tubing, the Aviator tubing also soft touch silicone, but it is even more malleable to the point where it's almost prone to kinking. The timber hose tubing is a little bit more rigid, not overly rigid, still very malleable, but it's that perfect medium between the two. They've also added a spring to the hose port, very similar to the spring on the aviator hose, but it's smaller coils and there are a lot more of them, so it doesn't kink at all. Also, I like that I can put the coils over the hose port at the end, and that right at that point where it connects inside the hose port, I don't get that little kink there. So for all of you kink police that always notice when my hose is kinking, you will never have to see that when I'm using the timber hose. Overall, the timber hose is one of the highest quality, nicest hoses that I've ever used. Granted, it is on the higher end of the spectrum. This hose will retail between $59 and $62. Yes, it is a little pricey. This is a luxury product though. You can definitely tell with the quality of materials that he's used. Very different from everything else on the market. I mean, this soft touch silicone, nicer than every other hose. When do you see a wood tip with copper? The materials in here warrant that price, but it is a luxury product. Do you need it? Does every hookah smoker in the world need one of these hoses? No. But if you're the person ripping a B2 with a boho base, you got an onyx ball on top, you're using the highest quality stuff in general, and you don't have a nice hose to pair it with, this is the hose for you. You put this on a VZ copper, mind blown. I've seen this on a Wuka, amazing looking. This is definitely a luxury product, and aesthetically, some of you may not like the way it looks. You may think it kind of looks like some male genitalia. I kind of agree with you, but I'm telling you this is definitely an eye catcher, something very different. I had a friend over the other day and she was looking at this hose, she was like, man, this is a nice looking hose. She didn't notice the B2, she was over here looking at the hose like, man, this is very different, I'm not used to these. I used to smoke out of a Maya hose. I'm like, well, this is definitely a step up from the Maya hose. So overall, aesthetically, amazing, quality, amazing. It's a great hose. One thing Nino is doing to keep the cost down on these hoses, he's only including a very simple bag with these. He's not creating some elaborate packaging and charging guys for it. So I actually appreciate that. When you get a Cloud Lotus with a beautiful watch box, I think that's transferring to the price. So he's keeping the packaging simple for now. That might change in the future, but it's helping keep the cost lower. If you guys are interested in picking up a timber hose, they will be released on July 15th. These will sell out. So plan ahead if you guys wanna buy one of these. I'm sure there will be a waiting list just like the Onyx Bowl. I know you guys hate waiting on those, but I'm telling you, these are some good products. Uh, if you guys are not already subscribed to the email list on masonshishaware.com, that will give you a heads up when they will be released. Also, one tip I can give you guys, maybe kind of obvious, but I hear if you add something like a Mod Grommet or a Provost or something to your cart, go ahead and fill out all your email and credit card information and save it. When you actually add the timber hose to your cart, it'll be a lot faster to check out. I know that's one of the biggest concerns on the website. You add something to the cart, by the time you type in your credit card information, it's sold out. So if you want one of these, Go ahead and be proactive, add something to the cart, fill out all your information so it auto fills when you're ready to check out on the day of, because these things will sell out. By the way, this is a V1 timber hose. I think it comes in black as well. I hear there are already some new models in the works. I probably shouldn't tell you guys, but I think he's gonna make a longer handle version. I don't know if that's confirmed or not. I recommended another three inches to the copper. 
I think it would look even better. Also, like I said, more models to come. I won't spill any beans there, but you will be seeing a lot more timber hoses on the market from now on. But thank you guys always for watching. I gotta head back to work. They just called and said emergency, so I gotta go. But I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys and have a good night. Bye everybody.